Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to solve this op amp that has a capacitor in it using time domain methods. And so what we're given is an input voltage VI of T, which is equal to 5 cosine of 2 T volts, a resistor value of 510 ohms, a capacitor value of 5 microfarads, and an, an initial condition for the output voltage. Um, so when time is equal to zero, our output voltage is equal to zero volts. Um, and so by looking at the circuit, we can tell that we have an inverting op amp because the input voltage is going into the inverting or the negative sign um, input terminal. And so typically whenever we solve the op amp type of questions, we do nodal analysis using our Kirchhoff current law equation. And so before we get started, I'm gonna go over the current relationships. And so we know that we know that current is equal to V over R. Um, and current can also equal the capacitance times dV over dt, which will be really helpful whenever we're doing our nodal analysis of, for the capacitor. Um, and in this case, we don't have an inductor, but if we did, we would use the equation uh, the current I is equal to 1 over L times the integral of T naught to T voltage when T is equal to T prime times DT prime plus the initial condition for the current. And so the first thing I'm going to do is locate my nodes. And so the first node we will place at the input terminal that contains a feedback component. And so in this case, the feedback component is the capacitor because it's connected to an input side and also an output side. And so I'm gonna make my first node here. I'm gonna call it BA. And then your second node will just go on the, um, the other um, input terminal. So I'm gonna do it right here and I'm gonna call it VB. And with ideal op amps, there's no voltage difference between the input terminals. And so we know that VA will equal VB. And in this case, VB is connected to ground. And so we know that it, it'll equal zero. And so if I start doing my KCL equations at node VA, I get zero is equal to, um, and if I start, if I could do the resistor one first, I'll have VA minus VI over R, um, because I is equal to V over R, as we mentioned earlier. Um, and for the capacitor, we're gonna follow this equation. And so we have our capacitance times D, and for our V, we're gonna do something similar to what we've been doing, where we do VA minus V out divided by DT. Okay. And now I'm just going to um, plug in my VA is equal to zero, and I'll get negative VI over R, plus C D times negative V out over DT. And I'm gonna move this VI over R over to the other side and we'll get VI over R is equal to C or negative C D V out over DT. Then I'm gonna move this C over to the other side. So I'm gonna multiply by one over I'm just going to multiply by negative 1 over C so we can get rid of that negative on the right side. And we'll get negative 1 over RC times VI is equal to, I'm going to cancel out these Cs in the negative sign, and we'll get DV out over DT. 
And now at this point, I know that I need to integrate because um, I have dt and I have db out. And so since I want to integrate both sides, I'm going to move this dt over to this side by multiplying both sides by dt. So these will cancel and I'll get negative one over rc vi of dt is equal to dv out. And I'm going to integrate both sides. And so on the left-hand side, I'm going to integrate with respect to time because I have dt. Um, and so I'm going to integrate from time is equal to zero to time is equal to t. And on the right hand side, I'm going to integrate with respect to dv out. Um, so I'm going to start from when v out of zero, which is the value of the output voltage when time is equal to zero. And then I'm going to find the value of v out when time is equal to t. Um, and then I'm going to plug in our v i value or v input value, which we, if we look above, is five cosine of two t. Five cosine of two t. I'm also gonna pull that negative one over RC out of the integral. Um, and I have t is equal to zero, t is equal to t. And then on this side, I'm just gonna rewrite it. dv out. And so now to solve this integral, we're going to do a u sub on the left hand side. So u is going to equal to 2t and the derivative of u du is equal to 2dt. And I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. And what we're going to do is dt. we're going to sub in 2t to be u. So we'll get 5 cosine of u times dt, which is equal to du over 2. And I'm actually going to pull these constants out of the integral. So we'll get 5 over 2rc times the integral of from t is equal to zero, t is equal to t of cosine of u du. And so the integral of cosine is sine, sine of u from t is equal to zero, t is equal to t. But before I plug in my time, I'm going to sub that u back in. So from earlier, we know that u is equal to 2t. And so I'm going to have sine of 2t from 0 to t times 5 over 2rc. And with definite integrals, um, you won't have a constant k. And so that's why we don't have a constant when we integrate. And so on this side, I'll end up getting 5 over 2rc times the sine of 2t minus the sine of 2 times 0, which will equal sine of 0 and sine of 0 is equal to 0. And now if we scroll back up, um, oops, I left off a negative here. That negative 1 over rc should travel with um, the 5 over rc. So this should be a negative 5 over 2 rc. And now if we scroll back up and we do the right hand side of our equation, the integral of dv naught is equal to v naught. And we'll plug in our v naught of 0 and our v naught of t. And we'll get v naught of t is equal to v naught or v naught of t minus v naught of zero. And then we'll bring it all down to one line. 
equals v naught of t minus v naught of zero. And if you look back at what we were given in the problem, we were provided with an initial condition that the output voltage at time equals zero is equal to zero volts. So we can plug that in. And so that's zero. And we're left with V naught of T is equal to, don't forget that negative on this top, is equal to negative five over two RC times sine of two T. And whenever you plug in the resistor and the capacitor value, you'll get negative five over 5.1 times sine of 2t. And that's your v naught of t. And the unit for this is volts.